Hi and hello, let's play fans. It's your old pal Berg787, back with a brand new episode of Darkest Dungeon. We're on to episode 2. Now let's pick up where we left off. We're going to go on a new dungeon crawl. So, as you can see, last time we only had one quest. Now we've actually got four different ones that we can choose. Uh, another short one. Another short one. That one's a medium one where you can actually camp in, but we're not going to go on that one just yet. And another medium one here. So we'll probably do another short one. Hmm. Probably use some of our new recruits as well. Should actually have a look what skills they've got. Because they don't always have the same skills as you can see here. There's seven skills that can be unlocked. And, and everyone's got like different ones. There's camping skills as well. But until we go on a slightly longer dungeon where we can camp, these won't come into play. But basically you can debuff, heal, use um, like loads of different stuff anyway, basically, to help you when you're camping. Now, this Vestial has Mace Bash, Judgment... Doesn't have dazzling light, grace, illumination. I'm not a big fan of illumination, I've got to say. Hmm. I suppose that's the one we had, though. So, what's our other one? Hmm. Okay. That's fine, I suppose. I kind of do like dazzling light, though. I do like to stun people. Um, but we'll take her on the next mission anyway. As you can see here, where their sort of optimum position would be in the group. Um, Grave robber. I do like a Grave Robber, but she's not got the skills I particularly like. do like Lunge, normally. I like to take Flashing Daggers. Uh, I like to take Throw Dagger and Poison Dart. So they're the four skills I like. So I'm going to have to... You can buy new skills later on. It's not unlocked yet, but I will definitely do a bit of modifying to her when I get the opportunity. And here is our Helion. Helions are pretty good frontline people. They take... They're, they're not... They're dead. They're, 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 Health isn't great in terms of like they, they do seem to take more damage than anyone else, but let's see, uh, she's not got everything I want either, but she's got enough, so that's fine. All right, okay, she so can be our frontline troop. Boom. We will take our other vestial. What's our other plague doctor got? Blinding gas, excellent. I do like both blinding gas. Noxious blast, disorientating, excellent. Okay, so he's got pretty good skills actually. I quite like that. He will, he will actually, can we swap him right? Yeah, there we go. Well, he'll go into the third spot. And finally, yeah, we will take our Grave Robber as well. Just, why not? Women scorned. Not quite sure why they're saying that women scorned. I'm presuming our Plague Doctor must be a woman as well. But hey ho. Hard to tell with that penguin mask on. Let's go get some provisions. So again, this is going to be roughly the same length dungeon. So we'll take the eight food. We did need all of it last time. Um, probably take a few less torches though this time. Let's take four torches. Uh, we will take a shovel. You never know when you might need one. We will take a key. We didn't need any bandages last time. That doesn't mean we won't need bandages. But we didn't need them. Um, I think I will take one bandage. And let's embark. Head off. The ruins bear all the signs of your ancestors' frenzied digging. Why our ancestor was frenziedly digging, but hey ho. Pace out the halls of your lineage once familiar. Okay, now, so in this boring. particular dungeon, oh, this is a terrible. Oh my god, that's awful. That's a fucking arsehole of a dungeon. We've got to backtrack so much, and it's annoying. We've only got to explore ninety percent of the room, so we don't have to go all the way to the end. But we are going to have to backtrack a lot. That's really annoying. I kind of wish I'd brought more food now. Um. Oh well. It is what it is. There's no use crying about it. So let's head this way. See what nasties or what goodies there are. Okay, that's a good start. Trap. Curious is Wonderful. Trap maker's art. Go on, have a look what's in there. Unwitnessed by his own eyes. Sentimental gifts are hidden inside. Excellent. So we've got a bunch of stuff. Not ash like there was last time. Head through the door. Okay, anyone here? Nope. Okay, we move on. We could pray. Let's do a bit of praying. Soothing pale light and gold here. So we got a buff, 20% damage. That's a bit annoying because we're not really going to be hitting with her. So a bit wasted. Oh, and we have a fight. Shite. Oh. Crap, he's got bleed already. So there we go. Good thing I took those bandages, eh? Right. The grave robber. So she can throw dagger. Does give her uh, increased accuracy. Decent chance at critical as well. Shadow fade. Always quite nice. Uh, it gives us better ability to dodge, and it can stun the opposition guy. 
I kind of do want to stun, but I want to stun these guys at the back. Uh, if I could. I could take pickaxe to the face. I think I am going to hit this guy. And then with him... I've got a plan anyway. Let's hit the brigand. Cutthroat. Because he's a annoying asshole. Alright. Wicked hack. Oh, we could inflict some bleeding damage, actually. Yeah, let's do that. And hopefully mess this brigand. Oh, we killed him outright. Okay. The enemy crumbles. Never mind. Oh, he's going to use his annoying attack everyone ability. Which he's done. Okay. Uh, do we want to do a bit of healing? I think we might want to. Should we heal all... Yeah, let's heal everyone. Excellent, we got the maximum. It can heal one or two, so we got the twos, which is good. He takes a bit of bleeding damage. Yeah, I know. That's fine. So we use our bandages straight away. Now, where is... Yeah, the shuffle, because I want to get this guy to the front. So come to the front, my friend. Let's join us. Okay. Ah, you missed, you big oaf. Big lummox. Excellent, okay. Now... It could heal everyone again, but actually, since she needs healing herself, we will use this and do a bit more damage to the Fusilier. Wow, nine! That was a big hit. Didn't expect that. Wonderful indeed. Okay. Um, just thinking what to attack with. Let's just slice his throat. Ah, you prick! Missing. Okay. Let's... We can't throw the dagger at the back one. Mm. Alright, let's just attack him. There we go. Dead. And now we just have to worry about old fatty over here. Alright, probably want to bleed him. That'll help us do more damage to him. Can do this as well, but there's obviously debuff us as well. It gives us minus 20% damage and minus 15 dodge, which we don't necessarily want to do, although the bleed damage is better. But I'll take the two for three rounds as long as we... Ow, oh, prick! It's annoying. Yeah, your punishment means nothing to me. There we go. Um, hmm. Maybe do a bit of healing here on like one party, one person healing on the plague doctor. There we go. Got you healed. We will try and blight this fat prick. Therefore, damage be blighted. Ah, damn, he resisted. Probably stinks. That's why blight doesn't affect him. Right, we had a few dodges. Shit, he made our person bleed. Now we know no more bandages to be able to stop that. So. Is what it is. Let's try and bleed him again. Ooh, 12 damage. Did we bleed him? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so he's bleeding. How much health has he got? 19. So Still a long way to go. Let's try and hit him. Four. Good times. Okay, so she takes a bit of damage. Good thing she's got an attack, though, which attacks them and heals her, which is really nice. So we'll use that. Boom. Eight. Good stuff. And free healing. Brilliant. Exactly what we want. Should we throw a dagger at him? Just increase our accuracy. It doesn't really matter in all fairness. Could try and stun him, although this guy is fairly immune to stun. 50%. Um, I'd rather just try and hit him. He's almost dead, actually. Let's just try and hit him. Oh, wow! Big critical! Nice! So hopefully lowered a bit of our stress. Good, good, good. Excellent. Yeah, we got through that pretty easily. Take all. I'm still a bit pissed off that we've got to do so much backtracking here, but... Again, oh, that's not nice. That's just not nice at all. Possessed by evil intent. Okay, no one in here. Alright, next room. Who else is about? Okay, so... Hmm. We're alright for the time being. I don't necessarily want to increase the light because we're all pretty healthy. Although her stress is a little bit high. Hopefully she'll find something in this box. No, sometimes you can find stuff that will reduce stress. Ah, here's why we took a shovel. There's all this junk in the way. You need a shovel here. If you don't have a shovel, you got to do it yourself. And uh, does damage to you, increases stress and stuff like that, so it's not fun. We probably are going to have to use um, a torch pretty soon, actually. Probably use one now. Get that out of the way. Anyone in here? No? Okay. We will scout ahead. Ooh, some treasure. Usually there's people guarding treasure, so I expect a fight at the end of this hallway. Come on. Trundle along. See what we got in here. Sack contents are yours, so a bit more... Well, only 25 gold. That was a bit rubbish. Never mind. Found one of these. We do have a key, so we shall use it. What have we got inside? Excellent. If Loads of good stuff. Could staunch the flow of Again. Corruption. We're going to get into a fight here, but... Okay. Ah, good. We surprised them as well. Fantastic. So again, kind of want to get this guy out early. 
How are we going to do that? What's the best way to do that? Well, we could pickaxe him to the face, which is always quite nice. Could try and stun him. Well, we can't stun him, actually. Alright, okay. It's going to be pickaxe to the face. Oh, and a critical, beautiful, well done, grave digger. Or grave robber, rather. There's a big difference between digging graves and robbing them. Excellent. Okay, so this schmuck's almost dead. Uh, I think what we're going to do as well is use Divine Judgment just to make sure he's dead and heal ourselves a little bit. There we go. Bam. So we got rid of him. Certainly the most annoying out of all of them. Now next, the Bone Soldier's the next most annoying. So we will Noxious Blast him. Two damage. And he got Blighted. Excellent. Uh, eight damage. We might actually just finish him off here with this hit, but if we don't, he will definitely die before he gets to attack next, so we will try and hit him. Oh, crap! Missed. That's not fun. Okay, pickaxe to the fakes, again for you. Good, alright, so he's finished. He's out the game, because he'll die before the next before he gets to attack, because of the blight. Next, uh, Noxious Blast. Do we want to Noxious Blast this guy? Yeah, we could try and stun him as well, but I think I'd rather the Noxious Blast. I'm going to go four damage. Is he going to be blighted? Oh, he resisted, which is a shame. There goes old Bone Soldier. Bye-bye. This guy's a little bit of annoying with throwing his fucking drink in your face. It raises your stress level, so I kind of want to get rid of him next as well before we deal with the Bone Defender. So again, I think it's going to be a case of healing ourselves uh, whilst attacking the Bone Courtier. Ooh, almost killed him in one go. Could have been nice. So here he goes, tempting Goblet. Oh, fucking, he got a critical. What a dick face. Yeah, they go increased our stress. Well, the critical increased our stress anyway, but... Alright. Okay, let's just try and finish off the... Well... I mean, this guy's going to attack next, but we're not actually going to be able to finish him off before he attacks anyway, so we might as well just get rid of the Bone Cordier. There we go. Bye-bye. If we had a chance to kill him, I would have attacked him first, but... Obviously, we couldn't kill him in 20 health. I mean, we would have had to have been really lucky to kill him in one go. Um... I think I'm actually going to heal quickly uh, our, our Plague Doctor. There we go. Now, just basically pummel this guy. And we could try and stun him. Is he going to get stunned? Yes, okay, so he's been stunned. And we've actually buffed ourselves there, so 20% dodge. Excellent. We will try and blight him as well. He resisted again. Bastard. So stunned, there we go. He's actually more resistant to stun now. Can't keep stunning someone, but he didn't attack this turn, which is nice. Um, mm, I'll just have to wicked hack him. Oh, crap. That's not fun. Okay, um, pretty happy with... Oh, these guys swapped around. I didn't actually even notice that they'd swap positions. There you go. Doesn't really matter too much. We shall um, do this. Nice, seven damage. That move's awesome. So it's been doing more damage than what I remember it doing. She can only use pickaxe to the face from there, but that's probably what we would have used anyway, so... No biggie. Good five. And hopefully finish him off. Yeah, there we go. That was perfect. Perfecto. Alright, so victory. Take all the stuff. Uh, don't have a key for this chest, which is a little bit annoying, but... There you go. Let's get the grave robber to try and open it. Contents are yours. Didn't need the key. Got some busts. Good times. Let's just swap these two round. Wonderful. And... So we're done now. We've got to do a lot of backtracking, which is annoying. And we're going to get into a fight here as well, which is also annoying. Ah, we surprised them, though. Ha ha. In your face. A couple of wolverines. And a uh, bitch with dagger thing. Okay. Um, we could try and stun them. But it would be wastefully stunning them now because they're surprised anyway. So we will try and just beat on them. Uh, I want to kill these guys first. They're the more annoying. The Wolverines. There we go. Four damage. Good stuff. Hmm. I suppose. Don't really need the healing. Well, we do. No, we don't. Well, we'll do it anyway. Seven damage. Lucky bastard still alive. Okay. Um. Well, let's just try and finish him off to be sure. There we go. We could have attacked the other guy, but I just want to make sure he was dead. And then you, you can try and bleed this guy. Oh, do I want to... No, let's do the Noxious Blast. Blighted. Excellent. Good stuff. So they're now no longer surprised. But they will be able to attack this turn. 
And let's try and finish them off. Pickaxe to the face. Hopefully do enough damage to at least get him down to three or less health. Yep, that's done. So he's finished. Bye-bye. There you go. Dead. And all we have is her. The Acolyte. Uh, at this stage, I'm actually going to use heal on the Plague Doctor. There we go, Doc. Heal you up. And let's try and finish him off. Or her off. Oh, one left. Annoyance. Oh, really? Come on, give me a critical. And there you go. You can see with that Eldritch like, tentacle thing, it jigged our party around. But thankfully, it was basically at the end of the game. At the end of the round, anyway. So let's just... Wow, we got a critical back. That was nice. So lowered our stress a bit. Excellent. And we won that fight as well. Cruising at the moment. Um, game's not always this easy. I'll tell you that now. So don't expect it to be plain sailing as it's been so far. Uh, yeah, we're backtracking on ourselves now, aren't we? So all of this stuff has already been collected or used. Let's go through. Actually, probably a decent time not to... I don't think we're going to get attacked in any of these rooms since we've already been through them. So I don't mind the light being lower at the moment. Although we could get jumped. Mm, damn you, trap! We could, I mean, in theory, get jumped by someone in the dark. But I'm happy to risk that for the time being. Go through the door. See, so yeah, this is the most I've ever had to backtrack. I've never actually had a dungeon like this. It's a real bitch of a dungeon. It's such a short one. I've still got all of these rooms to go through. I mean, we don't have to get to the very end one, to be fair. We only have to go through 90%, so that'll be up to there, I believe. Ah, uh, yeah, keep going. Oh, yeah. Got to choose oh, yeah, that room. So we're back to the... Click on it. There we go. We're back to the start. Oh, we are going to get into a fight here. So I probably want to raise the light level, because... We can do more criticals, but we might get surprised ourselves, so I'm going to raise the light. Uh, that's fine. Come on, where's this fight? There we go. No one got surprised. Well, that's fine, I suppose. Alright. Okay. These guys are going to annoy me with their throwing their wine in my face, but because it will raise stress, but... Hey, I want to get rid of this guy, the soldier. He's... Definitely the most dangerous out of this lot. So let's hit him. There we go. Did pretty good damage there. You, let's finish him off. Bye bye. Okay, here we go. There, there, raise our stress. Annoying, but what can you do? You're going to raise. Well, raise her stress. That's fine. She's got the least amount of stress, so I don't really mind that. Next, uh, let's get rid of the bone courtier. Good, you're dead. Next. Uh, Noxious Blast. Or... So he's almost dead. Bump in the night. Yeah, whatever. Your little fucking stick don't mean shit to me. Uh, let's finish him off. There we go. Bye-bye. And now we've just got the Bone Cordier left to deal with. Who should be dead fairly soon. I might actually milk this a little bit just to heal. We'll heal with you. would kind of like to get another round of healing in, so... Is there a way I can avoid attacking him? I could, like, swap round. Yeah, I think I'll do that, because you can't... If you wait, it actually increases your stress, so I don't want to do that. And I do want another round of healing, so I'm just going to swap them round. Alright, you do your free damage. I'll live with that. I'll just swap you two round again. Do a bit more healing. There we go, got the five. So, net increase. Um, you know what? That's not too bad. We've only got a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. We'll, oh, well, we missed anyway, so it doesn't matter. A bit more damage. Well, now you've forced my hand. Now I need to heal. I'm not having that, so we'll swap round. Definitely going to do a bit of healing. If I just finished, her off, finished him off, I would have been happy with that, but I'm not happy with that. Stop having so many goes. Give my Vestula a go. Oh, this is annoying. Why can't I swap? Oh, because they just moved, did they? All right, okay. Well, we've got to finish him off. It's a little bit annoying, but hey ho, sometimes you can get, sometimes you can be too clever, <laughs> outsmart yourself. Alright, that's fine, let me see the map, I don't want to get stuck in any fights. We're probably going to have to increase the light again now, because we're going to be entering parts that we haven't been to yet. Okay, that's fine, we will move along there. Let's get that light up a little bit again, just because stress levels are a little bit high. I think I'll increase it all the way to the max. I mean, they're not too high, but they're high enough. We'll increase it to the max and leave it at that. Okay, some more Wolverines. 
You know what the score is. Get rid of Wolverines and then worry about silly bitch at the back. Oh! You got pickaxed in your face! And you're dead! Brown bread! Okay, let's see if we can do the same here. That'd be pretty awesome. Oh, and another critical! What's this critical city? Critical mass! Oh, awesome! Alright, trying to raise my stress. It's a bit annoying because stress levels are a little bit dangerously high. Uh, I'm going to use heal. There we go. Got five out of it. Excellent. Uh, you know what to do. Oh, come on. How'd you miss with that? Okay. Eldritch push. Alright, move there to the back. Not too pissed off about that. There's worse things that could have happened. Don't miss this time. Again? Oh, come on. I think the game's like screwing me now because of my super criticals. Alright. Do I want to do a bit more healing? Let's just party heal. Ah, only ones. It's a bit annoying, but there you go. Alright, finish this. Yeah, there we go. So technically I one hit all of them. I just missed with two, <laughs> two of those attempted hits. Okay. Good. Next. Move along. Keep trundling. Oh, piss off traps. Smelly traps. traps lie in wait. What's in the sack? 25 got a man. Come on, that's cheap. Should be more gold. Alright, next room. So we only got two rooms left to go through. This next one and the one after that and we'll be done. Because we don't need to get in the last room. I might actually go to the last room, just but we'll see where we're at in terms of stress and because I don't want her to bust her stress and I think she's gonna. What's this? Hold on. Move stone, so two rest at accuracy, but ten percent chance to push pull skills. Well, don't really have the well, I do have that, but oh shit, I should have swapped these round actually, I just remembered. Right, it's not the end of the world, that's fine. Alright, so again, hopefully more of the same. Kill these fucking Wolverines. Yeah! Critical bitch! Eat! Eat my criticals! Um, alright. No, not party heal. Divine Grace. There we go. Five. Brilliant. You deserve the heal after that critical. Alright, what are you gonna do? Don't bleed! Ah, oh, that's annoying. That's why these guys are annoying. Where are you going to push her to? The front? Okay, I'm not too this pissed off about that. It's not the end of the world. Um. Okay, let's see if we can finish this chump off. Ah, couldn't quite keep up the one-hit kills. Bleeding, which is annoying. Do kind of just want to get rid of him. So let's not just blast. Oh, come on! That's really annoying. Oh, good. Missed. Ha, 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 ha. Come on, resist. Oh, that's annoying. That's 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 pissed me off. I don't think she's got anything that she can attack with from the back, has she? Um, oh, she does have Adrenaline Rush. That's like a buff. That's not that great. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Um, I think I am just going to swap around. Don't really need to heal. Okay, let's get rid of this fool. There we go. Bye bye. So we've only got your annoyances left to deal with, and that's really what you are—an annoyance more than anything else. Um. Yeah, let's try and noxious gas you. You're gonna get poisoned. Yep. Yeah, good. Uh, we could buff ourselves. Don't really see the point, so we'll just swap round. Do we want to do a bit of healing? Oh, actually, I can finish her off. I can't heal myself, but I can hit her so she'll... Well, if it hits. Yep, yeah, that's that's her dead. Is it a blight? Really annoying. Okay, at least the bleeding's worn off. Uh, I suppose you can just stab. There we go. Good. Done. These nightmarish creatures can be Take all of that. Can be beaten. Swap you around. And we shall continue crawling through this dungeon. Uh... Alright, I was going to say, I didn't buy all that food, but yeah, we've got food along the way, so that's fine. We'll eat some food. Eat some food indeed. And we'll go through this door. Shame we've got no more torches. Another torch would have been really handy. Um, okay, so we're scouting out. Hopefully we won't actually have a fight before we get to that last room and we can leave. Although we could, in theory, continue. Stress isn't too bad. It has gone down since last time I sort of noticed, really looked at it, because of that last fight with all those criticals. Um, Alright, bookcases I find to be quite annoying. Like, whenever I read them, usually they read something disturbing and it raises stress, so I tend to leave them alone. Oh, that's annoying. I don't have another shovel, do I? 
Uh, okay, so we've got to we've got to manually get rid of it. As you can see, took us a bit of health, raised stress. Yeah, we're definitely not continuing past the next level, and we've got no light whatsoever. So hopefully we don't get into a fight in this last room, because that's going to annoy me. Yeah, okay, no fight. I would continue, but as I said, with her stress level so high, I don't want her to get an affliction. So we will just leave and take our, um, our winnings. It is a game of risk-reward. You don't want to push your luck too much sometimes. And we, that was a pretty successful run-through, so we will just end it there. Great ruins belong to us. They do belong to us. So that was pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. We got 3,000 gold as a bonus reward. Not that. We got 4,600 that we collected along the way from these, you know, cash and precious stones. And we got tons of heirlooms. Got loads of these shields and stuff like that. That's great. Okay. Everyone is now level 1 here. Let's see what everyone got in terms of these. Okay, so 2. Kleptomaniac, prone to stealing items. I think... I think what happens there is, instead of it going into your inventory, like they keep some of it, which can be annoying, but not the worst skill. There's definitely worse negatives to have. Uh, Warren Explorer. So we've got another one with Warren, Ex with the Warren Boost. We got a couple earlier in the, in the first video. What did you get? Cormelius. <laughs> uh, anemic. So, okay, our ble bleed resistance isn't very good, but again, there's worse things to have. What did you get? This shit, so when light below, you're slower. Okay. That means you basically you'll attack last more often. Uh, precision striker. Okay. That's pretty good. So you do sometimes use that that stab. So that would be good to point out. And finally, steady. Stress resistant. Actually, that's really good considering the amount of stress that got piled on you to be more resistant to it. I'm quite happy with that. Let's return to town. There should be some more things unlocked now as well. caused this great foulness. And it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. So, yeah, there we go. We unlocked the guild and the blacksmith. At the blacksmith, you can get better weapons and armor. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, and at the guild, you can buy skills and change them around. I am actually probably going to do some skill changing. Because as I said, there are certain classes that I prefer certain different skills. I don't want to do too much of it because it does cost money and money is needed for other stuff. But, as I said, you know, I do want... I know what I want from my skills, and I'll explain them when I get them, as it were. So, and that. First things first, I just like to go to embark. We're not going to embark, but I just want to see what we've got to do, because sometimes these change up. So we've got another short dungeon. So I'm not... So I'm just thinking then as to who I'm going to take on the next mission before I worry about who I'm going to heal up, you know, in terms of their stress, because some people obviously do need stress reduction. So anyway, we will uh, we'll come back from there. First off, go to the stagecoach. So we got a bunch of these guys. Occultist, good, there's two occultists as well, because I do occultist is part of one of my two groups. So I'm happy that we've got two to choose from. Seeker Leopard's alright. The Jester's alright. They're kind of more sort of frontish line troops, first or second troops. Uh, I you know, in a pinch, I've got no issue using them, but I do prefer to have they're, they're not in my optimum group, if you know what I mean. So again, fine to have. I, I won't say no to an extra body, that's for sure, but um in general. Uh, I'm going to want to take these. Let's just see what he's got. So, Okay, I do want him to have a sacrificial stab, which he doesn't have. Mm. He does have that, which is good. Mm. He does have demon pull as well. Okay, so he's... Well, I'm going to get both of them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But just for the sake of having a look. To fight the abyss, What's he got? One must know. Okay, he's got vulnerable hex. Good. I kind of want him to have hands from the abyss, though. Instead of vulnerability hex, to be honest. Hmm. All right, okay, not the end of the world. That's fine. We'll take both of them. I'll explain all this why later on when I actually get the optimum group that I want. And out of these two, let's just see what they've got. Harvest, stab. Yeah, you can buff. He's got two buffs for the party. Oh no, this one isn't a buff. What am I talking about? Actually lowers the morale or the accuracy of the opponent. Okay. Yeah, not really loving you. Let's see what the leper's got. Chop. Heal himself. Intimidate. Intimidate's actually not too bad, because that remo that knocks people back. It's always good when you can knock people around, move parties around. So I think actually he's definitely going to be taken out of the two. And having your own natural stress relief is pretty good as well. So, okay. Out of them two, I'm definitely going to take the Seeker Leper. 
There we go. Fits my style more. Now, we can't upgrade this anymore, which is a bit of a shame, because we are actually at a full roster. I did want to increase the hero barracks, but we don't have enough deeds. Is that what it is? Yeah, deeds. So we need some more deeds. But uh, we will get that next time. Let's take a quick look at the guild. So here... You know, so we can upgrade the guild. Obviously this uh, allows skill upgrades to rank 2. Here, training a reducing upgrade with the skill costs basically cost less. I think I mumbled that a little bit. <laughs> but um, yeah, I will actually use that at some stage. How much would it cost to... That would cost a thousand. I do have quite a lot of... I do have quite a lot of gold. I'll, um, I'll have a think about that in between episodes, I think, on what I'm going to upgrade. And then I will upgrade it in the episode. But for now, that's where we're going to leave it off. So two successful dungeon crawls. All good. We've got a full roster. As I said, a little bit annoying that I couldn't expand that any further. But hey, oh, we didn't get the deeds. I might actually pick a mission. Let's just quickly look. Do we have one that gives us a reward of deeds? No. Okay, so we better try and find some while we're down there in the dungeons. What about this one? Alright, okay, so this does give us deeds. But I don't really want to go to the well just yet. You get different types of monsters in different places. So in the ruins you get more sort of... Um, at certain people you'll get everywhere, but you do get more sort of skeletons and un unholy type stuff. In the Warrens you get these kind of like pigs, uh, that's the best way to describe them, like swines, humanoid swine beasts, and uh, they're quite annoying. Uh, the Weld, you get other stuff which we'll discuss when we get there. But um, yeah, so we'll see all that in the next episode. You enjoyed the episode, you know what to do, hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and we will see each other tomorrow. Bye!